Fury had his hands behind his back at times. He was tapping his foot and was golden and was nonchalant in his mannerisms from the first bell right through to the last. And this is a guy that Anthony Joshua struggled with. He's been out of the ring two years. He's had issues that I don't want to bring up. So is he going to be the same guy who beat Klitschko? Of course he isn't. He's probably going to need a couple of fights, but he's certainly a really exciting and interesting addition to the heavyweight division. Those are the words of the Cobra, Carl Froch, speaking recently on BBC Radio 5 Live about Tyson Fury and a potential fight between him and Anthony Joshua. He implies that Fury's view that he would toy with Anthony Joshua is not unfounded because of the fact that you compare Fury's performance against Klitschko to Joshua's performance against Klitschko, Fury took a hell of a lot less damage and won in an easier fashion. Joshua went life and death with Klitschko. But it has to be said, a lot of people are not bringing up the other side of that argument. Tyson Fury never came close to dropping Klitschko, never hurt him, never came close to stopping him. So although Anthony Joshua did take a lot more punishment than Fury and had a much more difficult time, he also did something Fury couldn't do, which is drop Vladimir Klitschko multiple times in the fight and eventually stop him. He scored three knockdowns of Vladimir Klitschko in one fight. You know, that is not to be scoffed at. Nobody has managed to drop Vladimir Klitschko since who? Was it Lamont Brewster, the last, last guy to drop him? Or was it uh, Sam Peter? I think it might have been Sam Peter was the last guy to drop him. A very, very long time ago, Joshua managed to be the first guy to drop Klitschko in God knows how long. And he did it three times in one fight. So, you know, Tyson Fury couldn't do that. When you look at the performances of both men against Vladimir Klitschko, it is apparent that Tyson Fury is levels above Joshua in terms of boxing skill and defense. But it's also apparent that Joshua is levels above Tyson Fury in terms of offensive skills or offensive ability, at least if you don't want to you know, say it's skill, certainly offensive ability, Joshua's levels above Tyson Fury. He has the ability to inflict far more damage than Fury does far more quickly. Yeah. So that has to be said. And of course, styles make fights. Linear arguments don't work in boxing. As I mentioned before, just because fighter A beats fighter B and fighter B beats fighter C, it don't mean that fighter C can't beat fighter A. That's how it goes. But still, it's interesting to get the Cobra's perspective on this. He says he don't think Fury is going to be the same when he comes back, if he comes back. Because at the moment, the way you kind of drag in their feet, we don't know if it's deliberate or not, if it's a conspiracy to keep the Furies out of the ring. I don't know. I think that's possible, to be honest with you, because I cannot explain it any other way. But if Fury comes back, will he be the same? Certainly, Carl the Cobra Froch has his doubts. And so do I. And not just because of the length of time he will have been out of the ring, but also because of the way he abuses his body. You know, this is not a guy who keeps himself in shape in between fights, much less when he's been out of the ring for several years. So we'll see. But I do agree with Carl Froch that boxing is better off with Fury in it. That's just my personal view. I think Fury is a great character. I think he's an excellent fighter and I would love to see him back at his best. But I'm just being realistic here. You know, if he proves me wrong, great. I hope he proves me wrong. I hope he can recapture the same form that he had against Klitschko, if not surpass that form. If he does, then, you know, and he comes back to the heavyweight division, it's going to be great. We may be looking at one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, if that's the case. You know, we'll see. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about everything Carl Froch has said here and my personal views on it. All right, it's happening. I'm out.